Hello, I'm Barb. I'm the author of The Diaries of Liberty the Pug. I have Ebony Rose here with me today. Come here, Ed. Say hi. This is Ebony Rose. She'll be in the next book. And here I have Liberty. Come here, Ed. Come show your pretty dress today. This is Liberty. She is my co-author. From the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. We're still reading book one. You want to see the book two list? I know, I know. You say good morning. She has her dress on for you today. She's feeling very pretty. Yes. And then we have Pippa here, who's actually in Liberty's place. Yeah, Pip. This is Pippa. I don't think you've met Pippa properly. This is Pippa. This is the little diva. She's the baby of the family, and she's beautiful, and she says, good morning. Okay, you guys, go over there. Today, I'm going to continue reading from the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. I hope you're enjoying it. Today is about Liberty's first birthday. Liberty's first birthday today. Today is my first birthday, and Mum is very excited for me. We're having a family birthday party, just for me. Daddy helps by running my bath water and getting my bath ready. As I'm being all lathered up and covered in soap bubbles, Mum is telling Daddy she's baking some little cakes that as a special treat, she's going to give me a whole cupcake. I'm grinning from ear to ear at the thought of my birthday cupcake. I have been brushed, my ears cleaned, and some smelly perfume sprayed on me. There's Liberty. That was her first birthday party with her cupcake. Now for the good stuff. Where's my cake? Here it comes. I sit on Daddy's lap at the big table and Mum brings me my birthday cupcake with a lighted birthday candle on the top. Everyone sings. Happy birthday, Libby. Daddy helps me blow my candle out. Then the good part, my eyes and mouth have never been wider. I take my very first bite of my very own cupcake. Shh, a secret. Dogs should not really eat cupcake, but Daddy shares the cupcake with me, so I do not eat too much. Do you have candles on your pet's cupcakes? If you do, keep your pets in your lap. Keep hold of them. Blow the candles out for them. Candles can be very dangerous for your pets. So if you have candles around, make sure you keep hold of your little fur babies. There she is again. Fun times. Yeah. I wonder what she's doing. Can you guess? Today, Mom and Daddy are relaxing in their hot tub. The hot tub is in the back garden next to our big redwood deck. I'm thinking it would be great fun to join them in their hot tub. I run across the deck up two steps and leap into the water making a big splash. Mum yells. Daddy quickly lifts me up out of the water and sits me dripping wet on the seat at the side of the hot tub. Mum and Daddy both start laughing. I'm wet but proud of myself to have accomplished such a brave thing. I sit content with a big grin on my face. I did find out I cannot swim. I'm glad we keep a cover on the hot tub. When mum and daddy are not in the water, you need to keep a cover on those hot tubs. And be careful of those swimming pools. Make sure your doggies can swim. There she is making a big leap into the hot tub. She's pretty brave. I do not see clearly. So mum and daddy never move the furniture because I could hurt myself walking into things. I follow mum and daddy around the house and I'm glad that they keep things in the same place for me. I like helping mummy put laundry away. I carry towels in my mouth and put them in the hall closet. The towels smell like flowers when they come out of the dryer on a dusting day. Excuse me. On dusting day, 
Mum and I dust the shelves, and Mum gives me my own duster, because I always try to run off with her duster. Daddy's getting his three-wheeled scooter out today. I like sitting and riding on the platform of Daddy's scooter. Just me and my Daddy go off to the mall and mail a letter to the mailbox on the corner of our street. The crossing guard likes to say hi to me as she pats my head. The school children come and ask Daddy lots of questions about me. This is a proud moment for my Daddy and me. Do you have a pet that is unable to see clearly or is blind? It is better if you do not move the furniture in your house. Your pet might get injured bumping into it. Next little chapter is called Getting Ready. I wonder what she's getting ready for. I overheard Mom and Daddy talking today, talking about me being a very special girl with special needs because of my poor eyesight. They are saying it would be a good idea to get a pug sister so that I will always have a friend close by to keep me company. We would be able to play with each other. I like this idea. I don't like being alone when mom and daddy go shopping. So it would be great to have a pug friend living with me in our house. What are mom and dad doing? Mmm, I sniff around the house, touching my nose on something. It feels like another crate bed. Two beds? Why do I need two beds? Mum invites me to jump up and sit on her lap to tell me, Libby, a new little sister is arriving today. We're going to name her Ebony Rose. You will have company with you all the time. The rest of the day, I cannot sit still. I'm so excited. I hope Ebony Rose likes me. I fall asleep and dream of playing with my new sister. I hope she enjoys my favorite hobby, snoozing and napping. Do you think you would like a pet friend? Or perhaps the pet you have would like someone to keep them company when you're not at home? There are so many pets at the pet shelters looking for a forever home that needs someone to love and be loved. Perhaps there's one just waiting for you to take them home. This is Liberty in her little basket. And she's dreaming of Ebony Rose coming to play the next day. I wonder if she'll be surprised by Ebony Rose. What do you think? Next time I read, next week, we will start Ebony Rose book. The Diaries of Liberty the Pug. The Arrival of Ebony Rose. I think I put them to sleep today. Would you like to see? Say good night. See you next time. Hope you're enjoying the reading. Bye-bye.